Hello, church family. Welcome to my channel once again. My name is Church Girl. If you are new to this channel, welcome and thank you for joining me. I'm making a really, really short video, and this video is I'm going to talk about how to reduce your cholesterol naturally. Okay, how to reduce your cholesterol naturally. I'm gonna go straight to the point. I'm not going to be around the bush, so please stay tuned. A lot of people uh, begin a lot of messages. My cholesterol uh, is up. My doctor said I have to reduce my cholesterol and uh, my weight and things like that. Uh, these are simple home remedies. Regardless of where you are, you can still you can still come by this. The first ingredient I have here, this is ginger. Okay, we all know ginger is uh, is powered with a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, it does reduce mucus as well too. So those who have a lot of phlegms and phlegms kind of leads to all those things, heart enlargement and all those things with fat. Um, it's not good for you to have that because then it harbors a lot of bacteria. Uh, my, uh, all of, all of this my microbes microbials in in your system uh which is not good for you to have okay so we are going to be using ginger so ginger also does fight with, uh, fight cancer okay so ginger is a powerhouse the second one that i have here i have lemon okay this the yellow lemon the big one if you don't have this and you have the small um green ones you can use you can use that in place just that it's going to you're going to work harder because you need to juice and to get a good amount of this okay so lemons that's fight with infection it boosts your immune system uh it aids in digestion it helps with cancer uh and it also promotes weight loss okay it has great amount of a great amount of vitamin c in it also it has iron b6 and magnesium and you know magnesium does help with relaxes your heart muscles uh so this is very good for you if you have lemon in this recipe so we are going to be using lemon as well too I have garlic that is a bulb of garlic garlic uh helps with high blood pressure okay it reduces your high blood pressure those who have cardiovascular diseases it fights uh, infections bacteria uh, fungal infections and so many other things it does have manganese it has b6 and lots and lots of vitamins in it so we need garlic you know if you want to break down all those uh fats within your system garlic plays a major role in that okay i also have apple cider vinegar okay as you can see here apple cider vinegar is i have the apple cider vinegar with the mother i have the brag uh, apple cider vinegar as you see here apple cider vinegar has a lot of antioxidants and it also helps to fight free radicals and cell damage so sometimes uh, when you have this high cholesterol and you have all these kind of diseases your your cells begin to die so and this kind of rejuvenates it for you uh, as well too it, it helps with diabetes it helps with heart issues uh it's also fight cancer it's really really packed it's really good for you and helps with weight loss uh as well too so that is uh the fourth one the fifth one which is the last one that i have here this is honey okay everyone even if you don't have anything in your pantry pure organic 100 percent honey is what you need okay make sure that there's no sugar at the end because some people have this sugar they add sugar to it please don't do that make sure that you have a good uh honey that you have Honey does have iron, we have zinc, it has vitamins, it has antioxidants, uh, anti-inflammatory properties, it's antibacterial and antimicrobial. It also aids in digestion. So honey is a powerhouse. Simple. This is what you do. You will need two cups of this apple cider vinegar. Okay. I have a cup. I have a cup. This is one cup. Okay. Those of you who don't know a cup is one, exactly one cup. Okay. This is one cup. You need two cups of the apple cider vinegar, okay, which is the apple cider vinegar here, okay. You are going to juice, uh, either you juice it or you blend it, whatever you have, okay. If you are going to blend it, you add water to it, blend your ginger, wash it nicely and blend it. When you blend it and strain it, you must get one cup, okay, just one cup of this. So remember, two cups of apple cider vinegar, one cup of ginger, the lemon juice, you also need one cup of lemon juice okay then your garlic you are going to blend a whole garlic this whole bulb of garlic mix it with water and get one cup also honey one cup of honey please so let me go again two cups of apple cider vinegar one cup of the ginger juice one cup of the lemon juice one cup of the whole garlic that you've blended so add one cup to the water after blending it 
add one cup to it to mix with it to get one cup of the garlic okay and one cup of honey pure honey mix it together when you mix it together this is mine okay i have been using it mine was in the fridge i just brought it out this is mine you mix all of it together okay and store it in the fridge you don't store it outside because it will ferment you don't want it to do that okay so store it in the fridge when you wake up in the morning this is what you do like i said it's very simple you take one shot glass that is one ounce one shot glass in the morning make sure that you shake you give it a little shake okay so that it makes because the um when you keep it in the fridge it does settle most most of it does settle at the bottom so you need to give it a little shake in the morning okay and take one shot glass of this in the morning in the evening before you go to bed you do the same thing to one shot glass this is all that you need if you can do this for 30 days you are going to reduce your cholesterol naturally the cholesterol naturally without um uh, without going on medications and things like that, because the medication also does affect you also. So please, uh, make use of this. This is, like I said, this is a very short video. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave it, uh, down below and I'll be, uh, glad to respond to you also. And, um, I know some people say, I don't have honey. I don't have honey. Even if you don't have honey, you don't have, wherever you come from, those people who are in certain countries, they may find it difficult to get honey, pure honey. Even if you don't have honey, please, this ingredient that I have here, okay, make use of it. Even if you don't have honey where you are, even if you don't have honey at all, make use of these ingredients. You get your ginger. If you don't have honey and you want to increase the amount of ginger that you have, which is, uh if you want to make two cups of the ginger two cups of the lemon and uh two cups of the garlic then two cups of this that is fine okay because i know some those who are in the arab country sometimes it's really hard to get um some of uh honey i know i have been having people who have issues especially if you you, you are a maid you may not be allowed to go outside and roam as freely as you want make use of this okay don't don't say i don't have this i don't have this if you are having problem uh, with anything, just let me know right below, like I said. But make use of it. The ginger, everybody get, everybody does have it. Please, 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 please. There are some people who are fond of getting um, the, the store-bought squeezed lemon, lemon juice. No, 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 no. Because those things, they are just made, mixed with chemicals. It's just citric acid. They mix it and they put it in a bottle and it tastes like lemon. It's not actual lemon. Please. Okay, this is there's no actual lemon. Don't buy the store bought lemon. Please go out of your way. Getting one uh, one cup of lemon is not hard work. One or two cups of lemon is not hard work. Please make use of that. Okay. And uh I, like I said, use the fresh ginger if you can get the fresh ginger. Unless you don't have fresh ginger, then you can make use of the powdered one. Because I don't know the source of your powdered of your powdered ginger. If you are doing it yourself, then you can use it. So once again, my name is Church Girl. If you are new to this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe right below and also give your girl a thumbs up to give me some encouragement. Thank you and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.